Vectric Aspire versus VCarve Pro. If you're looking into CNC software and wondering about Vectric Aspire versus VCarve Pro, I've actually used both in my shop over time, and I can tell you the differences are real, but it totally depends on the kind of work you want to do. I started out with VCarve Pro when I first got into CNC woodworking because it felt like the smart place to begin. It cost me around $500, and honestly, for a good long while, it did everything I needed. 2D design, 2.5D carving, toolpath creation, and it could even handle importing 3D clip art or STL models to carve. That last one was super helpful because I didn't need to model things myself, just carve what I already had. Now, VCarve Pro doesn't let you create full 3D models from scratch. You're working within a 2D and 2.5D space, which works great for signs, plaques, inlays, and even fairly complex cabinet layouts or layered carvings. The UI is straightforward, and it's honestly one of the easiest CAM programs I've used. But after about a year of using VCarve, I hit a ceiling. I started getting more into artistic work, stuff like custom relief carvings, organic shapes, sculpted textures, and that's when Aspire came into the picture. Upgrading to Aspire was a big jump financially, about $1,500 if you already own VCarve Pro, but it unlocked true 3D modeling capabilities. Aspire doesn't just let you import models, it lets you create them. You can design 3D reliefs, merge models, sweep and extrude shapes, and really get into that next level of creativity. It also supports all the exact same toolpaths and functions as VCarve Pro, so nothing you've learned goes to waste. For me, that was a huge relief because I didn't have to relearn anything, just expand on what I already knew. I've also used Fusion 360, and yeah, it's powerful and it's free for hobby use, but it's a very different vibe. Fusion's great for mechanical design, full assemblies, tight tolerances, moving parts, that sort of thing. But when I wanted to carve a custom relief of a mountain landscape or a carved portrait, Aspire made it way easier. It feels more geared to the artistic side of CNC work, while Fusion is more for precision engineering. There are other options out there too, like Easel or Carbide Create, which are fine for entry-level stuff, but once you're serious about your projects and want full control over your designs, VCarve and Aspire really stand out. One thing to note, Aspire does get annual upgrades, and they're not free. The last one I paid for was about $400, but it came with new features that were actually useful. Still, you're not forced to upgrade every year, unless there's something you really want from the update. My general advice, and it's what I did, is to start with VCarve Pro. It's rock solid, powerful, and gets you in the groove of CNC design and machining. If later you find yourself bumping into the limitations of not being able to model your own 3D designs, upgrading to Aspire is a smooth transition. It's not cheap, but it's not like you're starting from scratch either. Every hour you put into learning VCarve pays off in Aspire. So yeah, Vectric Aspire versus VCarve Pro really comes down to your goals. If you're doing signs, furniture, engraving, and some 2.5D work, VCarve is more than enough. If you want to sculpt, shape, and fully model your own 3D reliefs, Aspire is the way to go.